Now, tomorrow is World Financial Planning Day. So between inflation and rising interest rates, having a plan for your money is more important than ever. Joining us now with more details is Mark Triplett with Triplett Western North Financial Group. So, Mark, you know, we were just chatting about this. It's important to have financial literacy, period. But these are some remarkably stressful times financially. So give us some tips when it comes to financial planning. Well, Samantha, a lot of folks think they have a financial plan because they may go to work and their employer offers them a 401k, and that's called a financial plan. But it's not really a written, drafted financial plan that helps you aim where you are today and where you want to go in the future and organize all of your retirement resources, both income and assets, and help you get from how things are today to how you'd like them to be. And that's really what we're talking about when we talk about financial planning is how do we how do we get to where we're, you know, from where we are to where we want to go using the resources we have already, as well as those that we might accumulate between now and the time we make that transition into retirement. What are some common issues you're hearing, you know, folks that with certain areas they're struggling in particular right now, are you seeing any trends on, you know, growing money problems? Well, I think uh, inflation has a lot of folks freaked out right now, for sure. The rising cost of, of goods and services is always something that has to be planned for, but we're experiencing kind of a, a shock here in the last year or so. Um, inflation has been much less in the past, and, and now it's kind of catching up to us. And I think that has a lot of folks nervous, as well as just um, the market has been quite volatile since the beginning of the year, and we expect that to continue. But having a, a well-drafted financial plan can help you actually um, see clearer through this and, and, and kind of temper some of those emotions. And I would say one of the things that to start with is just having clearly defined uh, goals. Like, where are you now? Where is it that you want to go in the short term, midterm, and long term? And having a financial plan helps guide you so you can orient yourself during periods of time where other folks might be kind of freaking out. And, you know, setting goals, too, something that gets you excited, thinking about things, say a vacation or a new bag or a car, you know, whatever sparks joy. I think we all need to some reminders to bring it down to the basics, you know, how much you make at your job and then how much can you, uh, you know, budget out your time and have that goal of getting something when you set those budgetary goals. Um, when it comes to you know, navigating retirement, any advice for, you know, maybe some seniors who are feeling very stressed right now, everything is not how they thought it would turn out. So we always believe that we should start with mastering cash flow. What's coming into the household, what's going out of the household, that starts with a spending plan. So really figuring out what are all of your necessary expenses um, every month, and what are the discretionary expenses that you'd like to spend money on, the fun things, and then a, a Compare that to the cash flow coming in, and where is that money coming from? Is it coming from Social Security? Do you have a pension if you're fortunate enough to have one? Um, are you pulling money out of retirement accounts? How is all of that taxed? How does your distribution from your IRA impact taxes on your Social Security, for example? All of that uh, really needs to be addressed when you're trying to navigate all of these challenges we're having and figuring out um, how do we how do we look at this in a very clear and less emotional, um, sure. in a very stoic way, so we can make good decisions. Removing the emotions from the decision making. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Great point to end it on there. We thank you for joining us today. Great tips.